A Halo Infinite support studio is just now hiring people for UX design for Forge. Interesting leaks talking about a foot race and Griff Ball coming back in the Halo Infinite. And the lead of the Halo TV show does a great job of explaining why you get to see Master Chief's face within the first episode of the Halo TV show this week. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another Halo Infinite news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within the all-famous YouTube algorithm. But let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the details here. So Skybox Labs is a development company that works with 343 when it comes to developing Forge and also just Halo Infinite in general. One of the main support studios along with like certain Infinity on top of that. Uh, they recently had this job posting go live as they're looking for a a UX designer right here for Halo Infinite's Forge mode. They say here specifically saying the UX designer will be instrumental in contributing to building features in Halo Forge, which is interesting you just call it Halo Forge. Why not just call it Halo Infinite Forge? But my guess would be because this might be like a standalone thing. I mean, kind of like what we did with like Halo 5, right? They did the very similar kind of thing where you're able to download Halo 5 on PC and then you're able to download the Forge mode just fine. It could be something along those lines, but I'm assuming it probably come along with the game as well. It has just, you know, it's one of those standard game modes that's supposed to be there with Halo Infinite. The big concerning thing is that, okay, you're hiring UX designers now for Halo Infinite's Forge when the game's when it's supposed to be releasing in probably about, what, September, August kind of time frame, which is kind of, you know, pressing it pretty close. I mean, this is a permanent job as well. This isn't like a contract kind of thing either. This is a permanent job working at Skybox Labs to help out with Halo Infinite Forge. Well, the reason why they could be hiring this position later on could be just because they finally ironed out what's gonna be like in the final build and they kind of just like decided to go, okay, we're gonna stick with this for the launch. And then obviously they'll be updating features probably down the line when it comes to Halo Infinite Forge. Now that they finally solidified what's actually gonna be there at launch, they can start building out the UI experience for that. So what kind of stuff could we expect to see? Well, I really hope to see a file share within game so that you can easily just download game modes that you can search for like we've had in previous halo games a content browser would be super useful again to be able to search up custom game modes like we have right now in mcc like we have in halo 5 i would love to see this in halo infinite because if you just release forge without that huge support tied to it then yeah like it's not going to really be that much of an impactful experience uh, especially with like the content drought that we're right now in when it comes to halo infinite and also uh, building out the website as well on halo waypoint if skybox Labs works with them i think they might have some kind of thing to do with that what 343 did with halo 5's forge and be able just to download things right from the website and have it go right into your account was super easy very streamlined and that's something that I absolutely think we'd have to have that e exact experience back when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going, oh my God, they're just hiring this position now when we're like six, eight months away from the release of Forge. You probably think it's in a disastrous kind of state. Well, we had some previous information from someone who's on the Forge Council, who is a community member who has been testing out Forge for quite some years now, had this to say about Halo Infinite's Forge status. Arthur Bloodshot, who is a friend of the channel here, said, as a member of the Forge Council, I can say that there is good progress on Halo Infinite's Forge to the point that there will be a public testing for this year and more details to come in the future, which sounds fantastic again, but we're like, okay, well, when is like later this year? Obviously he's more of a community member, not a member of 343. He's just the guy who's been able to play Forge for quite some time now, because he's a prominent member within the community of the Forge side of things of Halo. Seeing a fellow gamer of Forge saying that Forge is in a good state has me finding some confidence in 343 that when Forge does release, it does look to be a pretty good option leading towards possible flighting for Forge, which I would totally expect a feature like that to be flighted as 343 has stated previously that they are looking to continue on the flighting process into the release of Halo Infinite and beyond. But some great game modes are also pretty much tied to Forge, like Infection and Griffball, which actually have a dual, have a little bit of a leak talking about Griffball right here. Delta Hub, who's known for their Halo Infinite leaks, shared this image on that we've seen some of these images previously of these medals, like one is from the Void, killing an enemy through a teleporter, which is like some straight up split gate stuff happening right there, which I've never really 
been able to do before, if I remember correctly, in Halo. Uh, but we had another one called was under VIP for Fast Lane as VIP visit all scout points within X amount of seconds. So VIP most likely coming back. We do know that King of the Hills come back for season two with some other modes, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. Interesting thing here is saying interception, catch an enemy throwing ball near your goal. Now they state that this is under Griff Ball, but I'm pretty sure this also could be under Ricochet as well, which is a popular mode that's from Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary. We also have another medal here so called Fast Break, score a goal shortly after the ball is spawned without a turnover. That also could be, you know, tied to Griff Ball or maybe even Ricochet as well. So obviously, like, this doesn't directly mean Griff Ball, right? Because it could also be Ricochet. Ricochet being one of those popular modes from Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary. These same mechanics apply to this as well. But when you think of custom Halo experiences and just fun old games where you just want to have some fun with your friends, Griff Ball is absolutely one of those modes I fully expected to be back. It's just tied to that Forge mode so much that you can't really release Griff Ball until you have Forge. And honestly, you're probably gonna have to wait like a month or two or three even after Forge is released until you get like Infection and Griff Ball, unless they're like being already developed at 343, which 343 does have Forgers at their studios right now. And I would totally assume that you would have some developer made maps actually probably at the release of Forge as well as pretty much every Forge experience that we've had. We've had dev made forge maps for us to play at first to kind of give us an idea of what you can do in forge but then get the community time to work with it so maybe we could have some developer made griff ball and infection maps with the release of forge that would be very very useful or we'd probably have to wait like two or three months until like some cream of the crop kind of show up when it comes to these different maps so they can implement them into matchmaking because infection unlike these default vanilla maps it's just not gonna really play out that well it's really tied to that forge experience that you'd really need to have like unique design designed maps for specific modes and experiences, when, especially when it comes to infection. We had a very credible leak come here from Suresia, who is a very credible member of the Halo community who's been leaking things out about Forge and also Halo just in general, it said the public name Foot Race, Rally Foot Race to be exact. So this could be like some kind of running kind of race kind of thing we have. You know, we've had race games modes before with like Warhogs and Mongeese and stuff like that. Yeah, I call it a Mongeese. And then, but having it on foot would be kind of interesting, but it, interesting thing also point out here saying custom game markup academy custom game mode so it's like could this be something that's tied to academy well that's what sir asia says at least when it comes to this leak right here so it'd be kind of interesting to see like within the academy have it be much more of a social kind of experience which i think would be absolutely needed for this game as well i think it'd be really cool to have the academy not only be like a training ground but also kind of like a social hub like say like almost like the tower in a way when it comes to destiny but like put that in halo we have the base built out for it to where it definitely could be just like that it'd be super fun to do that as well when it comes to just like maybe challenging your friends within some of the game modes and stuff like that in there that would just be awesome and i would love to see like the ability to do this now i do know there is a bit of a foot race already within academy which is kind of like the training position when it comes to like helping you learning the moves and stuff like that of halo infinite but this one seems a little different where it says the description complete the randomized course and learn the map so this kind of hints at maybe something a little more procedurally generated which if that's the case have some kind of procedurally generated kind of jump map in a way i mean count me in dude that sounds like a ton of fun but of course this is a leak and a developing story once we get some more information i guarantee i'll let you guys know on this channel all these leaks and information are definitely not coming with season two but just like i can give it a little bit of hopium let's uh, show you kind of stuff that is coming with season two obviously we do know that we have the map catalyst and breaker coming in as well for the two maps that are coming in for season two we have new modes including last spartan standing which is the free-for-all elimination mode and we also have land grab coming to btb as well as it say also a updated version of king of the hill how that update works we might see kind of similar to the timing that we have with like uh, strongholds where like the timer stops when you're capturing the, the hill of course we just have to wait and see once that does release you guarantee i'll let you guys know here on the channel now, the biggest news happening this week is probably the Halo TV show. And Pablo Schreiber recently had an interview where he did a really great job of kind of explaining why you get to see this one choice, a big choice, honestly, that they made with the Halo TV show, where you get to actually get to see Master Chief's face, which I actually talked about in a previous video, which was confirmed that you will see his face within the first episode 
of the Halo TV show. So we're gonna see its face and it's gonna be quite interesting to see like how the community reacts to it. Uh, it sounds like it comes in later in the episode. So then we don't have to like worry about it being just like an average thing. But Pablo Schreiber here talks about how Chief is really just like another Spartan. And there's like that difference between the video game where you play as Master Chief. That's why you don't see his face compared to all the other Spartans within the Halo universe. We actually do get to see their face. But I think Pablo does the description the best here, why they made that choice. And I just want you guys to listen to this. Right out of the gate in the first episode. Does that get nerve wracking when people know like the green and gold and now we're putting a face to it? Uh, no, it's not nerve wracking. It feels really exciting. It's it's tailoring the medium, uh, the, the entertainment for the medium, right? The Halo is a first person shooter game. And so we've all, Chief has always been kept as a symbol, a uh, very vague character that you don't really get to know because you're meant to be him. You're meant, you put yourself in that position and fill out all the details of the personality with your own. Uh, we're making a TV show. And in order to have an audience connect with the character over the course of a long-term TV show, there's no way you can pull an audience through that without getting to know the character, without relating to the character, without empathizing with the character. And that feels virtually impossible to do with a helmet on all the time. And you don't have the real world rules against it like you do in The Mandalorian. If The Mandalorian takes his helmet off, he's not a Mando anymore. In Halo, the the Spartans take their helmet, their, their uh, Mjolnir off constantly. They have a whole life outside of it. The only rule about not taking your helmet off is the one about Chief not taking his off because you're meant to believe you're him. So this is a new form of entertainment. It's a new medium. It's a chance for people who have played as Chief for so long to put the controller down, sit back on the couch, enjoy the experience of learning about the Chief in a way that you have never done before. And, uh, you know, it's I think it's an opportunity for all of us to get to know him in a better way. So I really couldn't say it better myself than the actor himself talking about how there is just that difference between the media of when it comes to playing as a video game where you are playing as Master Chief, so that's why you don't see his face. Compared to watching a TV show, it's more of a passive experience and make that relation between the main character and the, the viewer or the consumer of the media, you kind of need to be able to see his face, be able to kind of make that connection with the character. Now I'm crazy excited about this Halo TV show. I definitely will be covering it on the channel. Every single episode we do a review from the perspective of a long-term Halo fan since I've been playing since 2001. It's always been my favorite game. I really hope they do this game justice within the show. And a lot of reviews have been coming in recently of people seeing the first two episodes and roughly about like sixes to eights, somewhere between, between that range, which I was kind of what I was expecting for the most part. I wasn't expecting this show to be like Breaking Bad or like Game of Thrones quality, like amazing kinds of like cultural shocking kind of stuff. Like I was expecting to be more kind of like a fan kind of service, good show kind of a thing. And a lot of the reviews that have been coming in, kind of comparing it score wise with like the book of Boba Fett, which if we get that kind of quality of a show with Halo, I'm all for that. But if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.